divorce, a Regis bankruptcy, and a Regis personal injury claim have in common? Regis lawyers, lawyers who care, convenient, affordable, respectful, and experienced. For over 20 years, we have helped thousands throughout the Hudson Valley, New York City, and Long Island. We work 100% for the 99%. For a free consultation with an experienced attorney, call or text us at 212-766-1100. And yes, we speak Spanish. Welcome, my name is Julio Rivera and this is M24 News. Of course, like always, we're going to be starting off with the local events. Mayor Bill de Blasio announces changes to intake at Rikers Island after Isab Isabdul Karim's death. This is the 12th death in the last 12 months. Mayor Bill de Blasio announced changes at Rikers Island Tuesday after the 12th person died in custody at the jail in the past year. The mayor said new intake spaces opened at the jail Monday and all detainees must now go through intake in less than 24 hours. This comes after the Department of Corrections uh, said uh, uh, about Issa Abdul Karim, who was 42 years old, uh, shortly before 7.30 p.m. Sunday in the infirmary, the DOC said in a statement. Kareem was not feeling well in a medical emergency he was activated in. He was also taken to the clinic where CPR was rendered. DOC Commissioner Vincent said of Kareem's cause of death appeared to be natural, but the medical examiner will conduct a full investigation. The father of two had been held at Riker since August 18th after he failed to report his parole, report to his parole officer for months and for marijuana use, according to his attorneys. Tina Luongo, attorney in charge of the criminal defense practice at Legal Aid Society, said in a statement, we are heartbroken and outraged to learn that Isadul Karim, a father of two young children, passed away last night at Rikers Island. Mr. Kareem suffered from a host of medical issues for which he required a wheelchair. Adding to this, Mr. Kareem contracted COVID-19 while mired in intake for 10 days and was denied access to his medications and critical medical care. He should have been in the community with his family, friends, and network, not in a jail plagued by an ongoing humanitarian crisis. Mayor de Blasio went on to say that Kareem was not among the 191 parolees said to be released last week under the newly signed Less Is More Act. Now heading over to Texas, Rio del Texas, the migrant crisis. How did so many Haitians end up at the southern U.S. border? Thousands of Haitian immigrants encamped at Del Rio, Texas, after entering the U.S. through the Rio Grande where awaiting either deportation from U.S. authorities or deciding to stay put and seek asylum. But how did these Haitian migrants make their way to Texas instead of entering from Florida, a state that's closer to the Caribbean nation? Many of those migrants, the Haitian migrants, experts say, were likely already in Central America as powerful new natural disasters and often dysfunctional government prompted a steady flow of out-migration for more than a decade. But now with economic opportunities drying up in Latin America, as the pandemic continues, Haitian migrants are seeking asylum in the U.S. The end goal is always the United States, said Eduardo uh, Gamarra, professor of political science at the Florida International University. He went on to say, the pattern is one that wasn't really begun by the Haitians. It was begun by the Cubans. They're the ones that set this trial. 
Haitians pointed to the assassination of uh, the recent assassination of President Jovenel Moise, a recent destructive earthquake both this year in their homeland as reasons why they are feel fearful of returning to Haiti. More than 320 migrant uh, Haitians were flown back to the capital of Haiti, Port-au-Prince, in three flights Sunday in the and Haiti says it is expecting six more flights Tuesday. Trump, uh, then President uh, Trump, enacted Title 42, which allowed for quick expulsion of asylum seekers to prevent the spread of COVID-19 in holding facilities last year. President Joe Biden continued the policy. However, children and some families are exempt. Horace G. Campbell, a professor of African American Studies and Political Science at the Maxwell School at Syracuse University spoke strenuously against the deportation, saying, quote, the United States is succumbing to white supremacist hysteria in this country by deporting these Haitians. Now on to a lighter note, Hispanic Heritage Month in Highbridge Park, Manhattan. Grab a blanket and snuggle up for this year's Fall Film Festival at Highbridge Pool Deck New York City Parks. We'll host a series of movie screenings uh, accompanied by fun and exciting activities fit for the whole family. Uh, all events are free. The first event is Friday, September 24th. Uh, at 5.30, there's going to be a scavenger hunt. And at 7 p.m., they're going to be screening Dora and the Last City of Gold. Dora from Dora the Explorer. A teenage explorer leads her friends on an adventure to save her parents and solve the mystery behind a lost city of gold. And this is rated PG. As well as the next Friday, after the 24th, Friday, October 1st, there will be a 6 p.m. dance cardio class and then screening uh, at 7 p.m. the movie Selena, the true story of Selena, a Texas-born Tejano uh, singer who rose from cult status to performing at the Astrodome, as well as having chart-topping chart albums on the Latin music 